What's the best way to get promoted from being a tester to being a developer? Well, I would say by far in that situation, the easiest approach is to try and do it from within the company you're working in rather than working as a tester, QA in one company and then applying for developer jobs in, in other countries. And in terms of getting noticed, getting thought of as potentially capable of, of doing it, because be bear in mind, if you're working as a tester, you're probably offering some value at that time, whereas moving over to being a developer, at least the first six months, you're not really going to uh, be that valuable to the company. So best things to do is start getting very familiar with Google Chrome console, be fully competent and confident and recognizing console errors, which are, you know, as far as I can remember, nearly always JavaScript errors. That will show um, an interest in in the subject beyond just recognizing if the page, the interface is working or not. Um, start getting familiar with at least some of the basic CSS rules. So understand what Z-index does, understand the difference between margins and borders and be, be semi-comfortable discussing it with, with any level of developer. Um, I'd also say focus on the front end, don't worry about the back end. You're gonna struggle much more to make the leap initially at least from being a tester to being a back-end developer and the other thing I would say is if you're if you're sort of listening to this and thinking yeah I wouldn't mind doing that but I don't know any of this stuff how do I get there I would say um, as a starting point get on W3 schools do the HTML um, tutorial do the CSS tutorial and do the JavaScript tutorial and you know if you do all of that and you know you've really upped your game as a QA and you know you're reporting tickets with not just I went here and the thing didn't work but actually screenshots of the error that's in the console and maybe even a pointer to a CSS rule that you think could be wrong um, which should get you noticed I mean most most companies are crying out for developers so if, if you're proactively doing that type of thing you're going to be uh, doing pretty well I imagine anyway however if it's not working Start going back to those tutorials, the W3 Schools ones, as well as doing others, and build up a bit of a GitHub repository. Now, if you can uh, use GitHub pages to put a, a mini website together, even if it looks a bit basic, if it's not that great, but it demonstrates an ability to use these, um, these languages, these markup um, languages, and you're showing it to your, your boss your lead whatever it is to the dev team and you're still getting nowhere which is quite unlikely but let's assume that happens at that point you could start sending that out to other companies to hiring managers in other companies and I know for a fact that if you sent that out to 20 companies that actually hire juniors one of them will give you a job if you'd like uh, some support maybe learning this I suggest you go to our 10-step guide on techherds.com and uh, if that's not enough, um, you can even book a coaching session with us and we can uh, put a plan together.